A very common situation in Brook Endgames is one of the sides have managed to get a pawn to the seventh rank and are almost queening. And the question is, can they queen? If you have the rook like here in front of the pawn, it sometimes can be a little bit problematic to dislodge the rook and get that pawn the, the one step it needs to, to move. There are in generally three ways to do this for white that can win. One of them is uh, is getting black into Sukhsrang and win something on the king side. Another one is to transpose into a one uh, pawn ending, which is what we're going to see in this position. And uh, the last one is is uh, penetrating with the king to the king side and before uh, transpose, uh, give, giving out the pawn to win on the other side. Uh, so basically, if, if, if for instance, uh, black's rook, uh, black's king here was, was on this square, uh, then this move would win because it's threatening to put the pawn down. And with black takes, you give a check here and get the rook from behind, right? So that's a known trick. Uh, also, if the king was on, on this square, then you would just give a check and queen. So the king has to be on these two squares. I'll make that red as well. These two squares, they are like the only squares that the king can stand on. But at the moment, no problem, because uh, you got pawns here and here, So and, and you can just move the rook uh, uh, back and forth here without problems. Whenever the king approaches the pawn, you just start giving checks, checks, and so on. Um, so how can white win here? Okay, let's see. At this moment, white is threatening to just move the rook, and uh, and then he will queen. So you have to give a check. And again, giving check makes a lot of sense. And here he went back, which was a mistake. He should give a check. And after something like this, this is a draw, I think. It's uh, the thing is, even if you win this pawn, it's still a draw because black can stay here on these two squares. But if it was an f pawn, then it would give check here, forcing the king either to uh, to go to f7 or f6 or allow the pawn to queen on. We can have that in a later video. It's rather instructive when this wins and when it doesn't win. So this is a draw if if you uh, give a check here and go back. But in this position, uh, Gerben uh, played the move here, and that's a big mistake because after this move, exclamation mark. Great move, giving up the pawn, uh, gives a check, and here this move transposes into a one king and pawn ending. Whoa, 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 what's, what's that? The thing is, why doesn't this uh, transpose into a pawn win and pawn ending? Because here black has the amazing king h7, and he is uh, mirroring the, the black, uh, white king, wherever it goes. So this is an easy draw. So if he goes here, you just go here. If he goes here, you just go here and so on. If he goes here, you just go here, right? Uh, and, and so on. It's the same with this one. So that's rather easy. And also here, you just go here and so on. So that's a draw. So why is this other situation not a draw? The problem is um, is this that after this move, you don't have a move because you don't have access to this square. So here you try this move. And then you just put it on the same square as the king, here, here, and um, here, forcing, um, and this is coming, winning both pawns. So that was one way to win. And by the way, this, this really, the really trick is this king h7 with the distant opposition of some sort, uh, which is kind of cool. 
Okay, that was one way to win. The next one here, we're just going to go through the game rather fast. It's uh, Wolfgang Unziger versus uh, Erik Lundin. In, uh, it's from 1954. <laughs> and they just play a lot of moves. We're mostly interested in how we could have. There was a. Managed to get some. That was a bit unpleasant for. Some like this is very interesting. Is it winning or not? And this was a mistake. And. Um, Thing is, with the A-pawn here, it should be a draw if black plays uh, well. Here he's making a mistake. He's going too, f too, he's becoming too active with the king. And this is a problem, having to weaken the king side like this. This is simply not... Oops, my microphone is slipping. To put it better on. Um, because, and we were going to see that, he's now able to... In general, you want to wait with putting the pawn here but this is something in often white can uh, in in this kind of position he can uh, walk with the king all the way down here and win because he has a square but at this moment prob black will probably get too much counterplay against the pawns so a7 making sure this rook can never ever leave uh, this this file okay so what's the problem how are you gonna how are you gonna win this well the thing is black cannot move his king there's a check here, right? So he has to stay. He cannot play this move because after take, uh, then whatever black takes back with will allow a check. So he has, he can only move the king now. So the, the, the so that means that white can do something very smart. You're gonna see it here. And he does attack here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, by the way, here <laughs> your white can win in a, in a way that's well, that's not part of uh, of of the instructive. But you can win in this way because uh, black messed up a little bit, uh, and and <laughs> he's simply trading mate here, and that makes it much easier because uh, this check will just allow rook c6. So that's he's uh, he's missing a big, big win, but it doesn't matter because this is much more instructive. King f7, king d7. And I kind of like this maneuver. So you move all your king all the way here, um, and then you move the rook and check, and winning this pawn and getting ready to win this pawn as well. And you will win the this pawn next with with this move, or keep the h pawn with, with if he he gives another check here. So that was. That was kind of instructive, right? That was a cool way. Okay, let's get back to uh, to understanding this with the F pawn. So here, white wins by this move, making sure now the king cannot move to other square than these two squares. It, it, uh, because if it moves uh, forward, then there will always be a check. So if you do something like this, then comes this check followed by uh, queening the pawn so and this move will always be followed by this move and after this move and this is a very important uh, tactical resource you have to know this uh, it's um, in the must know category on rook endings that this kind of uh, check from behind is really really um, important to, to, to understand and know uh, that's a, a concept that pops up all over the place in Rook Endgames. So please take note, this is important. Uh, king cannot go anywhere. So, okay, but how is white going to win? Well, he can move the king because uh, this rook cannot uh, leave the, uh, the A file, so then comes just rook somewhere. Oops, sorry. Uh, rook wherever and, uh, and the pawn queens. So uh, here 
like this or whatever doesn't matter and and then comes this right so you cannot move the rook from the a file but you can play king g7 okay so the king is approaching the rook but what then the rook goes here and we know that if the king goes up here then you'll just start giving a lot of checks and then at some point return to the a file so what then king c5 rook a6 king a5 rook a5 king e6 and here we start to see it ah it's a sook swang because the rook now cannot if it if it's uh, moving then you will uh, lose this pawn and so the king moves but then the king cannot move anymore because it the, uh, the king cannot move the rook cannot move so it's a sook swang you will win this one and then you can do whatever and just push the pawn because uh, what, whatever black does with the king is, is going to allow uh, at the rook to come out. But, and this is important, the g pawn is not the same because with the g pawn it just stops. Black just sits there and it's just not going to go any further. So the g pawn and a pawn here like this does not win. But an f pawn wins and an e pawn wins and, and everything else wins. But a d pawn and an h pawn does not win. So that's a Something to know. So this Sukswang is important. This was GM Talks with another endgame masterclass, and you're about to get really good at rook endings, right? Thank you for watching. This was your host, Suneberg Hansen.